Today, we will learn division of fractions. Suppose you have six chocolates. If you had to make groups of two chocolates, then how many groups would you be able to make? Go on, think about it. If you want to make groups of two chocolates, then you can make six divided by two. So three groups can be made. Now using the same six chocolates, if you have to make a group of half chocolates, then how many groups will you be able to make? To find this, you must divide six by half. Here, we have to divide a whole number by a fraction. As you can see, to make a group of half chocolates, we have to divide each chocolate into two equal portions. Therefore, by making two equal portions of six chocolates, we get six into two, that is twelve parts. We can say that six divided by half is equal to six into two, which is equal to twelve. Here, two and half are reciprocals of each other. If the product of any two numbers is one, then such numbers are called reciprocals of each other. Similarly, 5 and 1 by 5 are reciprocals. Can you tell whether 4 by 7 and 7 by 4 are reciprocals or not? Think about it. Their product is 1, so they too are reciprocals of each other. By understanding reciprocals, we can divide fractions easily. In this way, when dividing a whole number by a fraction, we write the same number as the whole number and multiply it by the reciprocal of the other number. So let's look at some more situations related to the division of fractions. Suppose this bottle contains 3 fourth litre juice. If it has to be divided equally among 6 children, then how much juice will each child get? To find this, we have to divide 3 by 4 by 6. Here, we are dividing a fraction by a whole number. Let's find the result. Suppose, we consider this strip to be a whole number. The bottle contains 3 fourth litre juice. To represent it, we will make 4 equal parts of the strip. On the number line, the first part will be expressed as 1 by 4. The second will be expressed as 2 by 4. The third will be expressed as 3 by 4. And the fourth as 4 by 4. That is 1. Three of these four parts are taken. So, we will shade the three parts. These three shaded parts express the fraction 3 by 4. Since 3 by 4 litre of juice is to be divided equally among six children, we have to make six equal parts of the shaded portion. Think about how we'll do this. Let me tell you. For this, we have to divide each part into two equal parts so that the shaded part is divided into six equal parts. Here, we have a total of eight parts. Now let's represent it on the number line. As you can see, upon dividing the shaded part into six equal parts, we get each part as one eighth. So each child gets one eighth of a litre of juice. Therefore, 3 by 4 divided by 6 is 1 by 8. To solve 3 by 4 divided by 6 in mathematics, we first write the number 3 by 4 as it is. Then multiply it by the reciprocal of 6, that is 1 by 6. The result we get is 1 by 8. 3 4 divided by 6 is equal to 3 by 4 into 1 by 6, which is equal to 1 by 8. So, each child will get 1 eighth litre of juice. So, keep in mind that division by a number means multiplying it by its reciprocal. Now, suppose we have 2 and a half metre long ribbon. If we want to cut it into pieces measuring 3 fourth meter each, then how many parts will we be able to make? Think a little. Yes, you are right. Here too, we have to divide 2 and a half meters by 3 fourth. 
notice that two and a half is a mixed fraction. In division of fractions, we have to first convert mixed fractions into improper fractions. For example, here we will write two and a half as five by two. So now the division will become five by two divided by three by four. So how will we solve this? Think a little bit. You are right. We will keep the first fraction as it is. Then we will change the division sign to multiplication sign and then write the other fraction as the reciprocal. That means 5 by 2 divided by 3 by 4 is equal to 5 by 2 into 4 by 3 which is 10 by 3. That is, from a 2.5 meters long ribbon, we will be able to make 10 by 3 pieces, each measuring 3 fourth meter of a ribbon. We can say that in division of fractions also, we keep the first fraction as it is and then we multiply it with the reciprocal of the second fraction. So today, we learned the division of fractions. In the next video, we will see some more examples based on it. Today, we will see some examples related to division of fractions. If we want to make 14 equal parts of 7 by 10, then what will be the measurement of each part? Come, let's solve it. We have to make 14 parts of 7 by 10 and find the measurement of each part. So let's first make 10 equal parts of a strip and shade 7 of these. The shaded part denotes the fraction 7 by 10. Now can you guess how we will make 14 parts of the shaded part? Go on, give it some thought. If we make two equal parts of each part, then we will have 14 equal parts of the 7 by 10 shaded region. As you can see, here one part is one of all 20 parts of the complete strip, which we denote by the fraction 1 by 20. Therefore, the measurement of each part will be 1 by 20. Let's solve this mathematically. To find the measurement of each part, we have to divide 7 by 10 by 14. To solve this, we will keep the first fraction exactly the same and multiply it by the second number's reciprocal. Here, the reciprocal of 14 is 1 by 14. Therefore, if we want to make 14 parts of 7 by 10 parts, then the measurement of each will be 1 by 20. Next example. The doctor has given 12 pills to Nisha and has asked her to take three-fourth of one tablet every day. Find out how many days will Nisha take to finish all the pills. The doctor has given 12 pills to Nisha. Suppose each of these circles is a pill. Nisha consumes three-fourth parts of the pill every day. On the first day, consuming three by four parts of the tablet will save her one-fourth part. Similarly, on the second and third day, after taking three-fourth of the tablet, one-fourth part will be saved. If we add the remaining parts, we will get three-fourth of the pill, which Nisha can take on the fourth day. In this way, Nisha will be able to take three pills in four days. Thus, we can say that Nisha will be able to take three into four pills in four into four days, that is, twelve pills in sixteen days. So the answer to the given question is 16 days. Let's solve this mathematically. Nisha takes 3 fourth pill in a day. The doctor has given 12 pills to Nisha. To know how many days Nisha will take to finish all the pills, we have to divide 12 by 3 fourth. To solve the division, we will keep the first number exactly the same and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number. Here, the reciprocal of 3 by 4 is 4 by 3. We can solve this in the same way as 12 divided by 3 fourth is equal to 16. So Nisha will be able to finish all the pills in 16 days. Next example. A plumber brings a pipe of 7.5 meters in length. He needs pipe parts measuring one and a half meters in length. 
find out how many parts of 1.5 meter length will he get from a pipe of 7.5 meters. This example shows that the total length of the pipe bought by the plumber is 7.5 meters. If he wants to make parts measuring 1.5 meters from this pipe, then he will get 7.5 divided by 1.5 parts. Let us find the result of this. Can you tell us how this division can be solved? Think about it. Let me tell you, if the division has mixed fractions, we have to first convert it into improper fractions. Here, the improper fractions of 7.5 will be 15 by 2 and the improper fractions of 1.5 will be 3 by 2. That is, 7.5 divided by 1.5 is equal to 15 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. To solve this, we will keep the first number exactly the same and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number. Here, the reciprocal of 3 by 2 is 2 by 3. To solve this, we will first multiply the numerator and the resultant numerator will be 30. We will then multiply the denominators and the resultant denominator will be 6. Then, we simplify it. Here, if we divide the numerator by the denominator, we get the simplest form as 5 by 1, that is 5. So, we can say that the plumber will get 5 parts in total. Today, we have seen some examples related to division of fractions. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions and some common mistakes related to division of fractions. Today, we will see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to division of fractions. Misconception 1. Mother asks the children, what will be the result of dividing 4 by a half? Anurag said 2 and Rashi said 8. So who of the two gave the right answer? Many times, children understand that division by one half means making the number half. Because of this, Anurag said that the result of 4 divided by half is 2. This is wrong. So, option 1 is wrong. The correct understanding is that dividing 4 by 1 half means that 4 is multiplied by the reciprocal of 1 half and that is 2, which results in 8. This means that Rashi's understanding is correct. Many times, children are able to find the right answer 8, but in spite of that, they consider it wrong because they assume that the result of division can never be a larger number. This is also a misconception. Keep in mind, the result of division can be larger than the numbers that are divided. Misconception 2. If 7 equal parts of 1 by 21 meter cloth are made, what will be the length of each part? To find the length of each part, the total length has to be divided by the number of parts, that is, 1 by 21 has to be divided by 7. While dividing a fraction by a whole number, children often tend to divide the denominator. For example, here the result obtained while dividing 1 by 21 by 7 is 1 by 3. This is the wrong answer. Hence, option 1 is incorrect. The correct understanding is that we keep the first number exactly the same and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number, that is, 1 by 21 divided by 7 is equal to 1 by 21 into 1 by 7, which is equal to 1 by 147. Therefore, the correct answer is option 2. Now let's look at some common mistakes. Let us suppose we have to find the result of 5 by 6 divided by 7 by 8. Some children believe that to find the result of division, the division sign has to be replaced by the multiplication sign and then they inverse the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction. However, sometimes they do change the division sign by the multiplication sign but forget to take the reciprocal of the other number and multiply the numbers as they are. If we multiply the numerators in this way, 
the resultant numerator will be 35 and the denominator will be 48, which is wrong. Some children take the reciprocal of the first number instead of taking the reciprocal of the second number. If they do this, they will once again get the wrong answer, 42 by 40. It is important to understand that we cannot change the first number. Take note that while dividing two fractions, we must keep the first number exactly the same and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second number. Today, we saw some misconceptions and common mistakes related to division of fractions.